Hey, welcome to Cosmic Tides. We're going to see how the cosmic currents are pulling for Virgo. This is going to be your bonus love reading. Down below, I will have the timestamp if you want to skip past my talking. The links for my Spotify, Apple Music, and Instagram will be down below, as well as my email for $20 personal readings. Due to a high volume of requests, I need at least 2-3 days to get them done after transactions, so I appreciate you for your patience. Keep in mind, these energies are interchangeable. This could be you, your partner, whoever. This definitely could be a vice versa reading, okay? So I'm actually really excited to do your reading today. I just bought new cards during the summer solstice. I got the Fairy Tarot cards by Radley Valentine. Probably horribly mispronouncing his name, but I really enjoy working with these cards. As well as the Angel Tarot cards, also by the same person. So I will be using both of these decks in your spread today. The first deck I'm using is the Fairy one, okay? So... This is kind of interesting. So I see you could be dealing with somebody. This could be somebody... For some of you, this is somebody from your past. For others, this is new people that hold the same energy of that person, okay? And um, it's like you want something traditional, and then this person that you're dealing with wants something um, not traditional. It's like, yes, this person's like uncommittal, not committal, okay? So you want something traditional, and this person doesn't want to commit, okay? but they still want to see you. So you're being asked to be assertive. Excuse me. You're being asked to be assertive. Don't back down from what you believe. Courageously stand up for um, for yourself, your self-worth, what you really want in this situation. Okay, honor your needs in this situation. If you're wanting something traditional, you know, don't settle with this person um, because they're uncommittal. Okay, and you're being asked to be assertive in what you want. Okay, um... And I'm seeing you're, you're being asked to know that you have the freedom to go in any direction, okay? Um, this is a closed cycle. So if this is somebody from your past, you're being asked to know that your journey is now complete, okay? Um, be assertive to this person. It's almost like this person's coming back up to test you, basically, okay? It's to test you to see if you really learned your lesson from dealing with this person or people of this energy, okay? Because what happens sometimes when we don't learn our lessons is um, we will manifest somebody that will teach us the exact same thing, okay? So you're, you're really being asked here to um, be assertive, to um, not accept anything less than what you deserve and what you want in this situation. Honor your needs here. Honor thyself, okay? And um, that definitely is a big part of your lesson here. And also, if you're wondering why this person's coming back, if you're thinking like, oh, maybe we're supposed to try again, this person hasn't changed. They're still uncommittal, and you're being asked to know that your journey with them is now complete. This was just a test to see if you've really learned your lesson, basically, okay? And, um... Yes, yeah, so some of you, because my throat's getting really itchy, some of you might have um, your throat chakra kind of blocked. So you might have a problem speaking up to this person. You might have a problem asserting yourself when it comes to this person. That's also why this is being brought up, so we can purge this as well. Especially with the Mercury retrograde, I believe it's on the 7th of July. Um, also keep in mind, you know, these readings um, never expire, okay? Time is fluid, so you can be in this part of your journey now and watch this and this may resonate with you if not you know check this in july um and it'll probably resonate heavily with you everybody's different everybody's in different parts of their journey okay but um what i'm seeing is you're being asked here you're being asked here to have self-discipline okay and dedication to thyself to get on this chariot so you can bring in the blessings from dealing with these people here okay so you can bring in the blessings so you can go into your new chapter and take yourself out of dealing with people with this energy because like i said you learned your lesson from this this is a, a complete journey okay this this is case closed and it's time for you to hop on this chariot and go into your next um chapter not with this person okay you're being asked to hop into your next chapter go into your new energy okay um and and you're gonna be doing this by speaking up here definitely by speaking up here by asserting yourself um that's kind of like the um condensed lesson here okay <laughs> kind of like a condensed lesson but yeah definitely being asked here to assert yourself to hop on this chariot have self-discipline um don't ex don't compromise yourself for somebody because I, I feel love towards this person i know you have a lot of love towards this person but it's like they don't commit 
they don't commit and um it's like you feel like you're not honoring yourself when when you kind of sacrifice that that's what it feels like it's like you're sacrificing your heart to just to be with this person and it's not it's not an equal energy exchange here okay um and i'm going back to the angel tarot because like i said earlier um you know I do see a lot of um, success coming for you. I see lots of blessings coming for you in this new chapter. You just got to hop on it, okay? Because I do see you, um, yeah, I do see you really coming into your own. I see you continuing to move forward, but it's like for some of you, it's like this. your mind keeps going back to this person, okay? Your mind keeps going back to this person. And it's like if, even if it's not this person you're dealing with and it's other people who have the same energy whoever that original person was it's like your mind still goes back to them okay and it really puts you up in your head it really puts you up in your head um for some of you you definitely have a problem speaking out to this person here you definitely have a problem speaking out to this person and asserting yourself to them and that's what this is really about right here okay that's what that's really about um because it puts you really up in your head and then you, you kind of shove your foot in your mouth here. So then you, you don't say anything even though, you know, this person makes you really stressed and they make you feel imbalanced. And it's like they just don't give you enough here, okay? And it kind of makes you go crazy. <laughs> and it's like um, I just definitely see you thinking things through carefully, deciding if you want to start this cycle of craziness again. Or if you want, if you want to um, go into your new chapter, if you want to go into new blessings here, okay? Because I see you feel really stuck when it comes to this person. Because I'm seeing you want to be loyal to this person, but it keeps you stuck because this person's not loyal. It keeps you stuck and it keeps you hurt. So you're being asked to release the fears that are holding you back, and you're being asked to go into the direction of the lone wolf to honor yourself here, okay? To bring yourself into your next chapter. Okay, because um, you don't need anybody to manifest with you. You are whole all by yourself here and very powerful. You have the power. Literally, I think that was your, your last reading too. You have the power. You do. You have the power to, to manifest your best life. You have your power to um, take yourself away from this person. You have the power to heal yourself and this situation, these wounds that this situation has brought. You have the power, okay? And, um, yeah, you you have the power to take yourself out of this situation. Just know that. Okay, I'm seeing uh, things are looking up for you. I'm seeing you get out of this situation and into a whole new chapter. I see you wanting to just rise above the bullshit so you can see clearly. Okay, and I'm seeing you're just wanting to listen to your intuition and care for yourself right now. It's just about you right now. Um, this is like a lot of healing that needs to take place still. From dealing with this person in your past. That's also why this is being resurfaced right now. So you can heal this. So you can purge this. So you can move on. And you're being asked to uh, protect that which you have created for yourself. Which is a whole lot of self-worth. Self-respect. For some of you it's like you may have dealt with this person. And then I see a separation. And in this separation time it's like you became a whole new person. You became. It's like I seen a caterpillar uh, when you were dealing with this person and then now you're a fucking butterfly okay and um you know you just have so much more self-worth self-respect you just are so much more wiser than you were when you were first dealing with this person and you're being asked to protect that protect that which you have cultivated for yourself here okay and have courage and believe in yourself that you can speak your mind to this person okay you have you have it in you have it in you this is what you are built for right now okay you're built for this. You're ready to handle any obstacle coming in your way right now. Because technically you've already mastered it, but this is really just totally purging it once and for all. Because, like I said, there is some wounds that was still there. And, um, yeah, we're just really purging right now. We're purging it out. And, yeah, I'm seeing over here... Yeah, I'm seeing over here, it's like when you deal with this person, you feel discontent, you feel bored, you feel like you're missing out on life, you feel like you're missing opportunities here because this person just kind of has you um, waiting for them, basically, okay? And that could be it, too. This person, maybe you guys are on and off, and it's like whenever this person uh, leaves, it's like they expect you to be there for them when they come back. And I'm just seeing you're, you're over that. You feel like you're missing out on life, and you're ready for your next chapter, 
okay you're ready for your next chapter you're ready for new passions here and you're tired of, you're tired of being taken for granted okay you're tired of being taken for granted you're tired of feeling used taken for granted because this situation drains you you're tired of feeling drained you're tired of feeling taken for granted and um you're tired of things not working out the way you hoped with this person and it's like you see the truth of the situation and it's like you are headed into your new beginning you're headed into your new beginning it is hard for you to move on it's hard for you to leave this person but I'm seeing that you see the truth of the situation. You feel the truth of the situation. And it's just, you, you deserve so much better for yourself. So I do see you walking, uh, to go, walking away to go get better for yourself, basically. Yeah, I definitely see you walking to go get better for yourself here. Um, and I see you trying to really use structure and logic when it comes to who you're going to give your heart and the world to next. And it's like when you talk to this person, when you tell them that you're leaving, you're being asked to be firm but compassionate, okay? Because this person did have a place in your life. I'm hearing the song, um, I'm hearing the song by Oasis, uh, Don't Look Back in Anger. So definitely look that up because this person kind of really fit into your spiritual journey. Like I said, you they were here for you to learn a lesson to them. For uh, you, They were here for you to learn a lesson from them. Sorry I'm so jumbly in the words today. It's like been in like the last three zodiac signs that I did. I don't know what this is. <laughs> but um, it's definitely some type of nervous energy in here. Um, but anyways, yeah, so I'm definitely seeing here, you know, this person was for, if anything, this person's was placed in your journey for your best interest. You know what I mean? This person was placed for your higher good because you learned a lesson from them you know this is all part of self mastery here and that's for your benefit at the end of the day even though when you go through it it doesn't feel like it okay because I do see you allowing more time before you make the decision to fully cut this off but the longer you wait you know there's this core that is attached to you in this person and it is draining you okay and I see um yeah, I see you're being asked to also make time for yourself to heal okay you need to step away from people you need to heal you should just be in your own energy here because I'm seeing, yeah, you're allowing more time before you make a decision to cut this off. But this situation has ended. This this is a closed cycle here. Like I said earlier, this is a closed cycle. Um, you learned a lot of valuable life lessons from this person. OK, um, I do see you actually kind of considering walking back to this dying tree but it's like you learned all the lessons that you had to learn from this. Um, and your seeds were very well planted, okay? You definitely learned you definitely learned a lot of valuable lessons from this person, okay? And um, you're being asked to have great inner strength for yourself and to um, look at things in a different perspective. Understand that, like I was just saying, this person was here for your highest good, you know? Um, and that song says, you know, don't look back in anger. Don't look back in anger. Um, cause literally this was for your highest good. And at the end of the day, I see you making, um, a choice from your heart to, uh, just work on yourself, to expand your horizons and going, going after your dreams by yourself here. Okay. Which I, I see is a very, very hard decision for you to make. But it's like you understand why this person was here, okay? You understand what you had to learn from them and, you know, that time has come to pass and now it's time for you to flourish. And it's like you understand that, you get that completely. And then over here I'm seeing... Yeah, over here I'm seeing um, you're just wanting to now have fun with friends that you cherish. You're wanting to um, embrace how wonderful you really are, okay? Um, and you're being asked to know that you can do anything. It's time for you to take charge of your life, to manifest, um, that you can manifest whatever you need to be a success here, okay? And to be happy. Um, but I'm still seeing you. It's like at nighttime. It's like your mind still kind of goes back to this person. And then I see you focusing on worst case scenarios. I see you're allowing worry to grow out of proportion to the problem. I do see you up at night thinking about this person. But it's like at the end of the day, you know what it's time for. It's time for you to be happy. 
okay it's time for you to be happy and manifest your best life which i do see you doing so they're asking you to let go of these fears to let go of these fears and to know that you can do anything okay it's time for you to take charge manifest your best life um embrace how wonderful you really are and have fun with the friends that you cherish okay and I definitely see this is going to be a really good summer for you guys. You're going to have a lot of fun. This is going to be a summer of healing for sure. Healing, fun, and um, manifesting, which I really love for you guys. And the person you're dealing with, yeah, the person that you're dealing with um, was trying to renew this with you, okay? This person was trying to restart this cycle with you, okay? Um, but they see that, yeah, they see it's like you're kind of already on to your next chapter, okay? They see you you have your bag packed and it's like you're, you already started on your endeavor. You already started embarking on your journey, okay? So this person, yeah, this person sees you. If you're, if you're looking here... See, this is guilt, and then they're throwing it in the fire. So they're doing a releasing ceremony here, okay? So this person sees you as, you know, kind of um, leaving them behind, going on your own journey, in your new journey, in your new chapter, um, releasing them, releasing things that no longer serve you, including them. And this even says here, yeah, they see you as letting go of belief systems that no longer work for you, including people, including themselves. They see you letting go of them. Um, they also see you're not... they're. They also see that you're not going to let them take you down the wrong path here. Okay? So that's basically what I'm getting for you guys. Um, that also gave me chills too. So definitely just be mindful of that. Okay? Be mindful of that. Um, whew, okay. So some signs you could be dealing with. Definitely could be dealing with the Pisces. Um, you could be dealing with a Leo. See, like, saw Leo twice, so definitely could be a Leo here. Um, I see Aries, Aquarius. I see um, definitely could be an Aries. I see definitely could be a Leo. Um, I see it could be a Gemini. It could be a Sagittarius could be yeah so all the fire signs are here so it could be a leo aries sagittarius i see cancer pisces cancer pisces i don't see scorpio yeah so it'd be cancer or pisces i see um i see a lot of air here lots of fire oh i see cancer here could be dealing with a cancer Lots of air. Okay, I'm confusing myself. I'm getting too many, um... I have too many decks here. Okay. So, alright. Lots of elements here. Make sure you're checking your chart and your partner's chart. Um, alright, I'm gonna leave it there because I'm really, 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 really tired. And I'm hungry. And I'm fried. So, I will see you guys later, okay? Bye.